Hi folks, it's Sean McCormick. Today I'm going to look at using Content Aware Scale to fix backgrounds. Here's an image of a model I shot in my house. Now I have a five foot area of wall that I use in the kitchen which is painted grey that I shoot against. I also use material backgrounds like this curtain material here and boards uh, and I use paper as well. In this case obviously you can see the door you can see the board as well and you can see a little bit of the light stand which is an issue but we can get rid of them very very quickly in Photoshop so I don't mind the fact that they're like this when I'm actually making the shot to do that we're going to use content aware scale so the first thing we do is we select the marquee tool we go from the top of the image down making sure not to hit the model and I'm just gonna let that go off slightly and then I'm gonna drag the marquee into position so I'm not actually touching against the model skin. So this is the area that we're going to essentially stretch when we scale. So I'm going to go Edit, Content Aware Scale, pull it across. I'm lining it up against the edge because only the actual background has been selected and the floor. So these should come up nice and even. I need to go a little bit more there. And now that's it. And I'm going to press Enter or you can also click on the tick box and that will apply it. I'm going to repeat the same for the other side. So again, the marquee tool is selected. I'm just going to pull from the top corner down and go and tie it to the model's arm. Now in this case, I have a little bit of the grey in the background. I don't mind that. I'm just going to stretch past the edge of the image to do that. So again, go to the Edit menu, Content Aware Scale. I'm going to drag this past the edge of the frame. I will actually wait for it to show up and see what we've got. Okay, just slightly more. We can see that the grey is gone completely. Again, we take it to apply it. And I'm going to go Command-D or Control-D on PC. So we can see that we've extended the frame. And the background itself isn't too distracting in this case. It doesn't look too bad. And the focus is still on the model. And so that's what I use Content Aware Scale for. Now obviously if you have a situation where you're using a seamless background, it looks even more natural. But in this case, it, for what it is, it doesn't look too bad. And I'm quite happy with the results from that. Especially as it's only taken a couple of seconds. So that's Content Aware Scale.